My name is Ahmed Wakar Raja. I will be talking about business communication. Today I will first talk about barriers to communication, barriers to effective communication, principles of effective communication, guidelines for effective communication and also guidelines for effective listening, nonverbal language and uh, how to face the interview and how to talk in the telephone. So first we will start with barriers to communication. Before I talk about barriers to communication and uh, I would like to say something which is more practical like why we need communication at all. First of all we need communication because we want to receive something, give something or exchange some information, ideas or any kind of uh, sort of opinion to another person and ultimately whatever we try to communicate any materials if that is understand if that is understood by the other parties the purpose of communication is done. So you can say communication is that you uh, exchange receive or give your information ideas opinions to other parties and if the communication materials is properly received properly understood properly perceived then that is the communication we say in practical. So there are certain barriers to communication. First of all, as we know, like we lot of have a certain prejudgment. Like we know, if we if we think that whatever the other person is saying, we already have certain prejudgment. We say like we already know what he or she is going to say. In that case, we might not listen to, uh, or we might not listen, or we might not understand him or her properly we have a prejudgment. So, prejudgment is one of the barrier and then there is another thing is uh, some sort of uh, as we know like whatever we, s we talk but before uh, in inside that s uh, spoken thing there are a lot of things hidden like your body language, your eye contact, your gesture, posture like what we call nonverbal communication. If you cannot understand nonverbal communication of other parties you cannot have a proper communication that means like that is also a barrier like some person he or she might have uh, some other motives like somebody wants to cheat you he or she will be very sweet or something but inside their mind there might be something uh, they have some other intention that you have to find out from their movements from their eye contact or from their other body language so that kind of thing so that is one of second barrier third barrier is if there are some environment which uh, distorts your listening you cannot listen properly or the environment or some other kind of distraction so that is one and then obviously language is very important because if you cannot understand the other people's language or the dialect or the accent in that case that is uh, also a very uh, big uh, barriers for the communication another thing is the nature of relationship between the two parties Suppose for example uh, um, uh, with your parents you have been with lo a long time with your brother, sister or your spouse, we can communicate without speaking that much. We have certain communication uh, maybe non-verbally more, maybe we, we can understand better uh, our, our friends and our relatives but suppose you meet a new person and you don't know him, maybe communication um, uh, will take more time, better communication, effective communication. So that is also a barrier the relationship between the communicator and then there is one of the thing is uh, emotions lot of time a uh, lot of words lot of uh, communication has certain emotions that you cannot express by talking by saying something or uh, it's like that so that is one of the barrier to communication you cannot express your true true feelings by words through uh, a lot of things you cannot express everything in words so that is also one of the barriers to if uh, communication and lastly maybe you know suitable system is not there in, in this case like say technology or using some other media if there are problems you cannot receive the proper message so that is also one of the barriers of communication so after this we we can talk about what are the principles of effective communication The first principle is we have to know what the objective of the communication is. What whenever we start talking with some people, we have to know okay what what are the objectives for this particular communication. So 
that is number one. Then comes the second principle is who will receive your communication that we have to decide. And then there is another third principle is under what circumstances we are communicating. So, what we are going to say, whom to whom we are going to say and under what circumstances we want to talk and lastly how the recipient will react to the communication you have sent. So, these are the things, these are the four points for, uh, these are the principles of effective communication. So, we have to, uh, we have to stick to this particular rules and then we plan ahead and we talk. A lot of things like for example, in practical life you cannot say everything everywhere. Uh, with people our communication varies. The way you talk to your teacher you might not talk the same way with your parents or your spouse or your friends. So, it is just like that we do that. So, in business communication also uh, depends on your colleague, your subordinate, your boss. We have certain uh, communication principles we have to uh, maintain. Now, I will talk about what are the guidelines for creating an effective oral communication. First, you have to decide your, uh, your what is uh, the message you want to achieve and then select the important facts and figures to support your message. What you want to talk, you have to have proper supporting uh, proof, supporting uh, message as well. Then identify the key points in your message and also arrange them in order sequentially one by one you have to put forward. So, these are the like effective way to talk and then choose a style, facial expression, body stance, how you, um, how will how would be your posture, gesture, your articulation, how you will talk to express your message, the way we talk in generally. And then take the feedback while delivering the message and adjust the message. It is like not like continuously speaking, but taking feedback, taking the understanding the what are the attention level of your uh, target audience, how they are listening to you, how they are nodding to your particular uh, talking and like that. And lastly, do not make message unusually lengthy, use short sentence, use uh, easy words because that is the also a very important point that if you cannot speak easily and with short sentence that is not effective communication. Effective communication is more like if the other party can understand you that is the best communication uh, you can have. Like a lot of people think like let let us use a, a very uh, you know complex ambiguous word or very uh, hard tough words, but it is of no use. Use the easiest uh, words you know, but let the other people understand whoever he or she is. So, that is the best way to communicate effectively. And lastly, whatever you communicate to anybody in the world, always try to end with a positive note like say thank you or with a say non-verbal communication like say with a smile or say uh, you say something which is uh, positive. So, that ultimately people will remember your last words, last thing you said. So, last thing always should be very positive and that has very good uh, effect on your whole part of the communication. Even if you have started something saying something uh, negative and something, but if you finish on a positive note that has a very good impact on your overall communication. So, these are all in short uh, uh, way guide guidelines for your effective communication. And next we will uh, talk about uh, nonverbal communication. Nonverbal communication is very important as a lot of research I have uh, research have show, shown that nonverbal communication is say 70 percent of the whole communication. Like suppose we say something, but whatever our posture, gesture, eye contact and body movement is that is um, more than uh, 70 percent. But uh, whatever some research also show sh have shown like it is 60 percent or something like that. Whatever it is at least we know this is half of the total communication. So, obviously, we have to take care what would be your gesture, what would be your posture, facial expression, body lang uh, other kind of body language and also eye contact these are very important. So, uh, first suppose we talk about gesture different kinds of uh, you know 
uh, body movements indicating something we are just like I'm saying this way this is like uh, you are trying to you know persuade or trying to make people understand suppose teachers they keep on looking all of the students so that they feel uh, they are involved and also they are getting attention uh, so they keep on moving so eye contact is important gesture is important suppose you are very confident you uh, sit uh, in certain posture if you are not confident you sit in certain posture suppose you are uh, you are feeling okay happy and all so you st walk in certain ways suppose your facial expression we can find like whether they are happy whether they are intention whether they are under stress whether they are gloomy so face reading is also very important it's, uh, more than 50 percent of the whole communication so uh, you have to understand what they are saying like suppose in a business uh, uh, environment if your uh, you know counterpart they are talking something else but if their posture is like say crossing their hands or crossing their legs or something like you might s understand before they say no to you any rejection or their acceptance you will know even the proximity how uh, how close your counterpart is talking to you that is also important suppose somebody is not liking you that much he or she will have uh, the proximity will be more and they won't be coming near to you something like that and also facial uh, we, we have to understand their other kind of movement uh, other kind of you know sign signals like sweating smiling and then uh, their eyeball movement and all those stuff so Ultimately, uh, this is very important to understand the other person's nonverbal communication. Next, we'll talk about what would be the effective way to listen. Effective listening includes like first you have to uh, give your full hundred percent attention to that particular person. You have to be very attentive. You have to focus on what the other people is saying. You have to have interest, real interest what the other people is saying. So, there are certain guidelines for effective listener. First, you ha we have to have our mind very clear. We have to be prepared to give attention. It is like something you, you have to be very clear in your mind. Uh, suppose our mind is disturbed or our mind is um, you know thinking about something past or future. We are not in the you know like the present moment. You are not listening to the other person who is in front of you. So, have to have a very clear mind like undisturbed mind. So, in that time you your mind is ready to listen to other people. Your mind is more having more space to listen to other people. Otherwise, if your mind is preoccupied with lot of thoughts, lot of planning of future or lot of problems of the past. So, you cannot you know really listen to the other person who is saying. It is like a, if you have an empty box you can fill lot of things, but if you have a full box you cannot enter anything just like that that is the best thing to best way to uh, listen to other people and then you have you, you cannot have like prejudgment about particular pe particular person you are communicating that what he or she will say you already know like lot of time say your teacher he or she might uh, not listen to you properly and they will think okay whatever you are you are going to say they already know so in that time they might not listen to you they might have some prejudgment about you so that is also a barrier you sh you should listen to people as if you have you don't have any judgment over him or her you just listen whatever they say and then you can judge whatever you do but listen properly and that is a very important part just like uh, we say like we have one mouth we have two ears so we listen double whatever we say so that that kind of importance is like more important for listening and just like clearing our mind we should be very uh, open minded we should appreciate their speaker's point of view we should always give keep the eye contact with them we should always have a very you know like uh, uh, having a lot of uh, acceptance keep on nodding keep on uh, uh, saying like you are listening show show interest to them so tell them that you are listening and then also watch for different signals different gesture posture we have to see and exactly the what are the main points that you have to extract you have to understand that what is the main point the uh, 
your uh, particular opponent is saying or uh, the other person is saying you have to go go to that detail or go to that particular point and also uh, keep on giving uh, verbally uh, feedback or verbal feedback or non verbally whatever you can do and uh, another thing suppose in s uh, certain scenarios you also have to give us uh, you can record certain points and uh, so that you can remember later on so lastly i want to uh, wind up in such a way like listening is a uh, is not like you are in a uh, quality you are born with you have to develop this quality by lot of practice by lot of uh, artificial in impose imposement you have to have on your mind lot of practice you have to have just like uh, firstly you have to have lot of interest you have to have interest about person about that particular topic you have to have patience you have to have lot of uh, you know uh, interest in that particular subject so uh, that listening power will automatically increase and lastly one more tip is you keep on listening to lot of you know channels like bbc cnn and like that so your listening power capacity will increase that's all for listening next i will talk about how to face interview please take your seat thank you sir Are you Miss Rabia Bello? Yes. Do you have any idea regarding preparation of financial statement? Yes, I have three years experience in preparation of balance sheet and income statement. Do you question? What is GMP? Uh, sir, GMP means uh, gross national production. What is your expected salary? My, my expected salary is not less than uh, fifteen thousand per month only. Good afternoon. Please take your seat. Thank you, sir. Are you Mr. Mahmoud? Yes, sir. Do you have any question? What is minimum tax for that? Taka 1,800 per month uh, for the year 2005 to 2006. What is your present salary? Present salary is Taka 2,000 only per month. Do you have any query regarding South East University? No, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, we'll call you. interview is very important we face interview for job for admission to universities or for any other reason you you have to face interview viva whatever you say so before going into say communication detail you have to have certain things also to be prepared before any interview first suppose this interview is technical interview you have to read the subject matter very well you have to be prepared with lot of answers even if it is a personal interview you have to prepare yourself uh, beforehand so that you don't uh, you don't you know think much during the interview and keep on mumbling or keep on uh, slowing slowing down your talking or you cannot speak properly in the interview so so prepare that as a homework then you uh, dress properly before the interview neat and clean formal and then during the interview we have to have lot of communication skill like you have to have listening skill because you have to know what the other person is asking to you properly you have to listen and then you can answer so listening skill is very important first then you have to have your non verbal communication very well that non verbal communication skill is like you sit in a correct posture don't move that much your body language should be very positive honest don't show that you are very nervous by tapping your feet or tapping your you know Uh, something you are playing with or sweating too much or your facial expression is very tense or you are not having lot of eye contact with the um, with the potential you know interviewer or your interviewer so all these thing you have to take care so listening skill non verbal skill and then your speaking your spoken skill is like how you really answer uh, with every question you have to answer properly how you answer exactly to the points and using you know short sentence using exact sentence to the point answer and all these are very important so basically these are the main skill you need all of the business communication skill whatever you have learned you can apply during the interview and then comes the how to talk in telephone 
also when we speak over the telephone we have to follow certain etiquette for telephone conversation as we know in this modern world mobile phone or telephone uh, both are very important communication method other uh, also as well as email or SMSing. So, all these have particular etiquettes. So, email etiquette is there, mobile phone etiquette is there, SMS etiquette and even the telephone conversation. So, for this particular module I will talk about the telephone etiquette. First of all before you call any make any business call you have to have a pre-plan like what you are going to say you can make a point in writing or in your mind make a point what you are going to say in that case you won't be wasting uh, your time as well as the other people's time so make a point list of things you would like to talk and then when you call, call somebody address something you, uh, you have to say something very positive thing you have to uh, either say good morning good afternoon or whatever uh, way you address the other person you have to be that much polite and then you slowly uh, put your point one by one and also listen whatever he wants to give feedback whatever he wants to say you have to listen and give feedback then you keep on putting one point after another and whatever the ta uh, whatever actions you would like to take and the other person is going to take on your particular uh, point you, you have to note down or you have to remember those and ultimately throughout the conversation you have to be very friendly you have to be very cur courteous your etiquette should be very polished you should be very uh, you should sound very confident very decisive and as well as very interested helpful and so on so ultimately the thing is uh, also you have to end up with a very positive note then say saying goodbye in a very friendly way or saying uh, thank thanking him or her that uh, this was very helpful conversation and also uh, for the future communication when it will happen and what are the actions to be taken on you have to sum up and then you hang up saying thank you and uh, very with a very positive note. So that is all for telephone conversation etiquette in short. So for today's lecture you have uh, listened to like what are the barriers of communication then principles of effective communication how you can listen properly and then what are the guidelines for effective communication, how to talk in the, over the telephone, how to face the interview and also we have learned a small a very important part is nonverbal communication. So lastly I would like to say that this you know like this nonverbal communication is so important this is very important in every kind of communication like uh, except the communication type where you cannot see the other person like say over the telephone you, you do not you don't have to care for nonverbal communication over the email, SMS or say mobile phone you do not need to but suppose you are meeting somebody face to face or talking uh, say your some visual videos or you are you know talking in the video conferencing or video phone obviously your nonverbal communication is very important so you have to you have to understand the other what the other people is really saying by watching him properly him or her properly watching everything gesture posture eye contact and uh, I say it like other body language and I and lastly one thing is like suppose we follow uh, some of these rules we will be very effective communicator and suppose you, if you can communicate properly in the business world obviously the other other person they will like you they will have business deal with you so uh, try, try to follow these guidelines try to listen to people properly try to talk with them properly try to express everything very clearly and in a very concise way in a 2D point way so that other person can understand your communication so that's the that's the main essence of communication you, if you can make un understand your things to other people and if you can understand what the other people are saying that's all you have to take care so thank you very much for your patience and your valuable time